Now, the things I speak about, if you follow these things, you will have a closer relationship with God. And this is what we all need. So I pray that everything that I teach makes sense. So let's go to Luke 6 and 28 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the Expanded Bible. And let me say this too. So many people act like they know God or they follow God's rules and regulations, but you are going to find out that many people who claim to be Christian don't even follow the basics. They show no love to people, hardly. They have really no compassion toward people. They really care about themselves or their family, if that. And if you are truly of God, you are going to have compassion toward people. You are going to have love for people as well, not only for yourself or your family, which we all need to do is to love ourselves and our families, but that is not it. So Luke 6 and 28, to the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. So when a person reads this, they are like, okay, whatever. Like, I am really going to bless my enemies and pray for people who do me wrong. Whatever, whatever. People don't take this seriously. They just see this and just read it and like it really does not affect them, which it should. It should affect you. Sometimes to reach people, I know that there are some people who want to teach people, some people want to prophesy to people and have all of these great gifts of the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. But sometimes to reach people, you have to show them love. Even when you show them love, they continue to backstab you, yes. Sometimes you have to continue to show them love no matter what they do to you. This is how you reach people. I was telling this one person and perhaps other people, people are going to look at your actions quicker than they are going to listen to you because they want to make sure that, hey, is this person's actions matching up with their words? For the most part, for many people, their words don't match up with their actions. So people are going to look at your life quicker than they listen to you. So what can you say then? Your life is a larger ministry than what you say. In some cases, you really don't have to minister or say anything to a person because a person can be inspired by the way you live your life. Does that make any sense? But anyways, we have to pray for our enemies. And don't pray to God like, hey God, I want you to punish this person. I want you to curse them with a curse and make all of their teeth fall out and no ask god to help them help them in the areas that they are weak ask god to bless them like for instance i was praying earlier and a particular enemy came to my mind and let me be honest at first i really did not want to pray for that person 
<laughs> you know, I have other enemies as well, but this particular enemy have done something recent, you know, and I really did not want to pray for this enemy, but I said, do you know what? I am not fighting or I am not having conflict with this human. I am having conflict with the demons within that human. So I started to pray for this person, asking God to bless this person, give this person or asking God to give this person what they need and stuff like that. You know, just saying every good thing that came to mind about this person or asking God to help that person and asking for no harm to come to that person. That is what we need to do for our enemies, not just point our finger at them or talk about them to other people, but to pray for them, asking God to help them. We have to have love for not only our friends and families and stuff like that, but for our enemies as well. Because if we only love those that love us or love those who do right by us, sinners do that, right? But we have to be different from sinners, right? So we have to love our enemies. And think about this. If Adam and Eve were the first two, two humans on this earth, that means that pretty much everyone are brothers and sisters. So we all are family. No matter what tone of skin you are, or where you are from. We all are brothers and sisters. So think about that. Pray for your enemies. And I know that everyone, even if you are low key or don't really speak to much people, we all have enemies. Everyone does. So pray for your enemies now. Don't wish harm upon your enemies. Does that make any sense? Ask God, because look, your enemies are going to reap what they have sown. So if they continue to do evil, evil things are going to come to them. So to wish bad luck or bad things upon your enemies, that is silly because it is going to happen anyways. And like I said before, you are going to reap what you sow. So if you are wishing bad things to happen to your enemy, you are going to reap what you have sown. So perhaps bad things are going to happen to you. That is why you need to pray for your enemy, for your enemies, and bless your enemies as well. Because why? Because you are going to reap what you sow. So since you are doing good toward your enemies, more good is going to come back to you. Do you see how that works? So pray and bless your enemies. Do good things toward your enemies. Because don't we all want good things to happen to us? Yet many of us don't really do good things toward other people, but we want this special treatment that we don't give to others. Makes no sense, right? How can you want something, but you are not willing to do it or to give to others? I want people to respect me and be kind and blah, 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 but you are not willing to do the same thing for others. How can you want that? Shouldn't you treat people based on the way that you want to be treated or better than the way that you want to be treated? Does that make any sense? So really take heed to... This stuff may seem very small and insignificant and whatever else, but this stuff here is really going to help your character, making it easier for you to serve God. 
when you neglect things like this, look. Whew. Really take heed to this because this is going to help you out. Many people or there are people out there who struggle with this. And many of the time, it is small things that people have trouble with, but many small things become large. Does that make any sense? So do, do the basics, do the basic things. Yes, I know that you want to teach. Yes, I, I know that you want to prophesy and heal people and do all of these great works of God. I understand that. But do the basics first. What is the point of you being able to do all of these great things, but you can't even do the basics? So practice or... Concentrate on the basics first. Because what good is it for you to be a teacher when you don't have love for people? A person can teach all the good information out there, but if you don't have love and compassion for people, what are you? Like, how can people receive you? Think about that. So the basics is better than all of these great things that you want to do. So I pray that this makes sense and really take this to heart. God bless.